Time now for the first event on day 10, the men's 200 metres T36 final. A championship record in the heat by the man who goes in lane three, defending champion, world record holder, Evgeny Svetkov. Also the gold in the European and Championships last year. But Colombia's Juan Mourinho Marquez. Lifetime best set this year, 25.80. He'll go from lane one. Braden Davidson of Australia. Also his lifetime best coming in 2015. 25.63, he'll go from two, but there is the man that everyone will be chasing. Gold in the 400 metres, defending champion, championship record in the heat of 24.21. And he goes in lane three. Graham Ballard, runner-up in that race. Silver medalist in the European Championships. Finished fourth in the 100 metres final. He'll go in four. Torsnov of Russia. Gold in the long jump. Silver in the 100 will go from five. Malaysia's 100 metre gold medalist, Mohamed Buzi, Mohamed Ridzian of Malaysia in six. China have had a fantastic championships. Chen Mian will go in seven as their only representative. And in lane eight, the man who's won bronze over 100, bronze over 400, silver in the long jump. He was silver in this back in 2013. Roman Pavlik of the Ukraine goes on the outside. Men's 200 24.59, the championship record. He also holds the world record. Will that go? We've seen plenty of them so far. How many more on the final day of competition? This is the first of 18 finals taking place on the final day. <coughs> well, that looks like Ballard of Great Britain. There may have been a little bit of movement before him, but wait to see what the judges say. I don't know whether he was just standing up because there had already been a little bit of movement. Well, there's movement on the outside. The Ukrainian Pavlik on the outside is, is moving as well, but Ballard is the man who has actually gone first. Green card is given, though. Unsteady start. Sensible decision because Pavlik, you can see on the outside, was already unsettled in the blocks, unsettled everyone else, and a green card is given. So we still have all eight. Some leniency given in these events due to the fact that some athletes can't control those nervous twitches that they get with their cerebral palsy. As they settle to go at the second time of asking. This time they get away fine, no problems at all. And Pavlik gets away fast out in lane eight. But it is the man on the inside, Ballard and Torsnov, who are coming through very quickly. And in lane three, Svetkov, the defending champion, has now gone to the front as they move into the home straight. Svetkov in front is the man who's further out there. Torsnov, his Russian patriot, who's in third place. But on the outside is Pavlik of the Ukraine. Pavlik gets second place, but 24-29 is a new world record for Evgeny Svetkov. He's defended his championship. He's picked up a new world record in it as well to boot. That was a brilliant run. He rounded the bend at the 100 metre mark. Pavlik in second place. And in third, it is a Russia 1-3. Torsenov in 24-67, but the man out in front. It was an incredible run. He got away slower than the others, but he picked up the pace after around 50 metres. And he rounded the bend in first place. He wasn't headed from there. And 24.29, a new world record as he gets over the line. Erno Hanlon. Yeah, Torsenov and Pavlik in the, of the Ukraine, sorry, of Russia and the Ukraine got out quite well and I thought Shvetkov had quite a slow start but he used the second half of his bend very well, came into the straight and looked too good in the straight, running away with it and claiming his new world record of 24-29.
Ukraine through in second place, 24.63. Pavli Torsanov, 24.67. Also a new lifetime best for him as well. So Russia in one with a new world record straight up. What a start to day 10. Brilliant running, brilliant work, brilliant championships for that man, Evgeny Shvedkov. And he knows it. Confirmation of the result. World record there, Shvedkov. Russia start day 10 with a world record and a gold medal, 24.29. Lifetime best for Pavlik and Tursnov. And Mohamed Puzi, he picked up gold over 100. He was just outside the places in the 200 with a fourth position for the man from Malaysia.